Hello, beautiful world. Uh, this is Faris Al Hajri, PhD. I am here. I am from Oman, Middle East, uh, presently here in Virginia, Blacksburg, United States. This topic, uh, I'm going to record part of my training course that I've been taking since a couple of days uh, about uh, dynamic public speaking specialization by University of Washington and our tutor is uh, Matt McGarrity. Just a small uh, introduction about uh, Dr. Uh, Mark, uh, Matt uh, McGarrity. He is a principal lecturer in the communication department at University of Washington. Uh, the speaking here specifically about uh, the dynamic public speaking specialization that I'll be conducting in a short here presentation live that I prepare for, I prefer to make it live. So I'll be talking just a glimpse about myself. Uh, I am a holistic health and wellness professional. I am the founder, president and founder of Hakwa Wellness here in Blacksburg, Virginia, United States. And since I founded the Hakwa Wellness, the purpose of the Hakwa Wellness is as an establishment that promotes holistic health and wellness. Through the provision of Hakwa Revitalized Therapeutic Modalities and other professional services aimed at serving the society through providing health and wellness through the body, mind and spirit. Just a glimpse about myself and I founded uh, Hakwa Wellness. In addition, I founded I, Hakwa Revitalized Therapy Heart or Hakwa Pathic Medicine or just simply Hakwapathy. So Hakwapathy is completely different from Hydropathy, which completely I found it, which means uh, the use of water at specific temperature, which is hot for various modalities. So we have a gulping method that we coined it, therapeutic methods of Hakwa gulping and other modalities. So about 17 modalities that we're working. Since the discovery and founding of the Hakwa revitalized therapy or heart or simply hakopathy in 2007 uh, every see, everybody has to go through painful moments in his life or her life just to discover something so no pain no gain and the pain i went through three tr tragedies i went in my life the first tragedy was my mother she underwent surgical operations in her life for 35 years, 10 surgical operations, or seven in Africa, and operations in her stomach with the chemotherapy uh, was conducted, were conducted in the United Kingdom. And she passed away from suffering of ovarian cancer. That was the last uh, suffering. She was diagnosed with ovarian cancer. And before that, 10 years before my mother's death, my father passed away as a tragedy and I was studying in Egypt, me and my younger brother. So I've never seen my father's late, uh, late moment because when the, the moment I reached Oman, where he was buried, he was already buried by already one week. There was not enough uh, flights that could take flying from Egypt to Oman. So I could not see my father the last moment. So it is considered for me a tragedy and the, actually the way he died, it was never revealed the reason how he died after he met the mother of his late is uh, the majesty of Oman, the sultan of oman and after he met her he was healing through energy healing he used to believe that energy has a healing power but he passed away after he met her second day in a hotel so it was never said it was never revealed the reason of uh, the death of my father so for me, it's considered a tragedy that we accepted the fact and the will of life is to continue. And the third tragedy, based on these two tragedies that I went through, I started to become workaholic. I started to work for 15 hours per day, up to 20 hours. And I have two incidents that I had to work 23 hours nonstop, no completely, because my boss was rushing to get the job done. 
and I had to finish the job. So this is me. I never stop my work unless I finish it. M most especially as I promised my father. Uh, I promised my, my, I mean, I promised my father that I'll be really doing my best when he trained me through, during childhood. That I'll, when I grow older, I'll be, do, be doing all my best about education because he wanted us to be educated. And that's the reason we were sent in Egypt to study and to learn Arabic there. And from there, I moved to Oman to continue my study in engineering. And I, but everything changed from the incident of in the kitchen experiment, 2007, to a about water effect at room temperature, cold water and hot water at specific temperature. That changed everything. And from that moment, uh, I started to spread the words by mouth, by spread, to spread to everybody because simply if water would not harm you. So even hot water at specific consumable temperature will never harm you. It will never do any harm. So from that moment, I started to spread the words of mouth. And from there, I started to receive invitation to speak at schools, public places, mosques, worshiping places, different places, different locations, universities, colleges, schools, uh, different places. So I started to conduct a series of lectures. But at some time, I started to feel that I am a student student of life who just never had any background of holistic health about wellness about health in particular then i had to do also a side by side to study so that was the first for the first phase that i went through which i consider it the learning stage the learning stage which is also considered the learning phase and spreading the awareness. So I started to collect a lot of anecdotal evidence. A lot of people were really benefiting from aqua puffy. At that time, I used to call it hot water therapy for consumption as one of the modalities at specific temperature. Then I could realize that it was a missing, missing key, the master key, jumping from just water therapy and combining all together water, oxygen, hydrogen and energy therapies all together combined at once from one only source just simply aquapathy so aqua denotes from two words aquapathy is actually coming from three words so hot aqua my son case who was graduate from virginia tech as summa cum laude and joined microsoft is now a uh, program manager at Microsoft. He helped me about uh, registering the, the brand Hakwa, Hakwa and Revitalize. So it has a meaning, Hakwapathy or, or Hakwa Revitalize, a therapy, hot aqua, so hot as hot by, by temperature. And aqua is the water from the Latin word. Pathy, everybody knows about, many people, they know about pathy. Pathy means treatment. So it's a hot water treatment, hot water therapy. So aquapathy or aqua revitalize. Why? Because human being doesn't need to be treated more than just he need to be or she need to be revitalized. So this is not purpose of treating diseases or alleviating uh, or trying to be uh, acting as a licensed physician since I am not a licensed physician, but we came to understand the health of human being since a human is created, is not invented. So I came to realize that the, one of the mysteries of human being since is part of the living organism. We will rely, fully rely on non-living things which are forming part of the nature, part of the uh, creature that have been created, have not been invented by human. Those are the fields, uh, the four essential elements of life, uh, namely, specific, uh, specifically, exclusively water, oxygen, hydrogen and energy. That is a game change in the healthcare of human being that humans, not just only absence of disease or change the lifestyle but maintaining your entire health and wellness in addition so you by mean of moving from just prevention of disease or healing specific diseases by revitalization so moving from that stage to reach the entire five aspects of health physical emotional mental spiritual and social not only that, so once you move from that stage, you go to the second stage, 
the second stage comprised of uh, reaching the five factors of wealth, sustainable wealth. That's not every rich is wealthy, but every wealthy is rich. So to be wealthy, you need to, pos to, uh, to reach all the five factors, namely power of faith and devotion. Number two, the, all the five factors of uh, health. Number three, happiness, joy. Number th four, skill and knowledge number five opulence money money because money is one source of wealth but it's not the only the exclusive source of wealth as many could have assumed a wrong assumption as i believe so from there we started to move through that strategy uh, that phase of spreading the awareness and learning at the same time so we were invited by a series of media mostly in arab uh, countries and uh, also international so we started to conduct uh, lectures we started to speak at uh, universities schools colleges and so on public places so health uh, organization hospitals and that was a, an exchange of knowledge at the same time to learn where are we standing and to see where exactly uh, how the public respond so we started to receive a series of invitation to speak at uh, medias uh, like live TV uh, radio uh, media awareness like uh, uh, speaking at uh, I mean d different media and as well as uh, uh, spreading the words through magazines interviews uh, newspapers uh, and Oh, I mean, all different uh, type of uh, social media spreading the awareness. And so we conducted about 90 of that uh, locally, regionally, uh, even international. So we started to also to attend at international conferences so where we uh, speak uh, speakers uh, locally, regionally, mostly within the Arabian Peninsula and also internationally like uh, Australia and uh, in California, particularly. So we, we, we conduct a series of uh, public speaking uh, where we started to learn as we understood that knowledge is coming when you give the knowledge to others, to what you know or what you have achieved. Then you get to exchange the knowledge and gain experience as well as public speaking, learning how to speak. And that's the reason why I decided to join this uh, very precious course uh, by the University of Washington. So I really owe a big thank and gratitude to Dr. Matt McGarrity for, for conducting this uh, training for his students uh, on the topic of dynamic public speaking specialization. And the phase one was completed by 2015. So from there, I realized that I need to move to the second phase. And the second phase was to move to the United States because I believe on building strategy, a strong strategy. So we opened our office, our first office in Virginia at Virginia Tech Corporate Research Center, VTCRC. And that's the beauty of that is that the VTCRC is linked directly with the Virginia Tech uh, Polytechnic and State University for the purpose of as a startup uh, business uh, 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 entrepreneur in addition as uh, research and discover of this uh, founding of Hacopathy. So I need a series of experts which is provided at lower cost. So it's very, you don't, you don't spend anything more than you just only some fees like uh, leasing the place and so on. So we started to receive series of training, consultation with experts. Uh, we link with this student from Public College of Business at the University, uh, uh, the Virginia Tech Polytechnic and State University to do business review, business plan, link with the economic development experts uh, and professionals, executive, uh, with the local community, with a uh, series of uh, researchers, uh, scientists and so on so we'll end up end up also uh, having a link with the college of osteopathic medicine to have a partnership to conduct clinical research studies so this the second strategy i mean the second phase was to focus into building conducting clinical research studies because we believe in science and we believe science is the tool the best tool that divide between true and false between science and charlatan between so it's all that is to subset scientifically independently so we really focus into getting the uh, this phase the second phase by doing the strategy two strategies which uh, one is conduct clinical research studies in human subjects and the second one is to 
set up wellness projects. So we have eight categories of projects from wellness center to wellness uh, lodging and spa to wellness resort and spa, wellness cities and wellness organization, non-profit since we have been already in this field since 2007 until today, 2022. 15 consecutive years of learning and spreading and so on. So a huge information, huge achievement, including on public speaking as well. That's it's so important to reach the, pub the public speaking. To learn how that's the reason even we joined the university of washington to be uh, to receive uh, a good training about the public speaking so that's so another uh, another important uh, task ta that we were going after a series of other training that received like uh, integrative nutrition from the iin institute for integrative nutrition uh, which is in new york the world's largest uh, nutrition school uh, integrative nutrition so we we finish our course uh, and uh, we prefer also to join this public speaking course with the title Dynamic Public Speaking Specialization by Dr. Matt McGarity. Uh, Give me a chance to grab, to grab my hakwa. I want to grab my hakwa. It's changed my life. Great. So that we just completed the phase two and we're now waiting for any time the clinical trials to be conducted. We had already a series of five clinical trials have been conducted in RAT in Algeria by a scientist. Uh, she's the director of research at a university, Le Frère Mentori in Algeria. Very successful by students who she teach for masters and PhD. So all these five projects since 2017 2018, 19, 20, and 21, five clinical trials have been conducted on the effectiveness of uh, aqua revitalized therapy, or sometimes we use the generic name of hot water therapy, but we wanted to be unique to have this uh, brand as aqua revitalized registered by USPT or the United States Patent and Trademark Office. So we, we as of today, 2022, we already 70 years of preparing and building strong strategies and now we start to move into phase three. The phase three is a f implementation stage. To, so to start to build it, seeking funding through investors, through angel investors, through uh, uh, funding by our own means as an entrepreneur, finding, finding some sources like uh, financing and so on to set up a project uh, in different places wherever it's possible and to spread it as a brand, uh, the new brand of Hakwa Revitalize uh, doing this project by attracting also investors in different countries and different places. So we believe the future of health is already here because for the reasons that a human is created, is not invented. So what's going wrong by treating your body by and uh, treating your body by uh, what's been invented more than just to understand your body's cry why your body is crying what is your body is craving for you a human being as a living organism fully relies your fetal growth development so until you were born you were completely provided with the non-living things those non-living things are the fuels which i call them the fields f-e-e-l small s the four essential elements of life which i coin i call them specifically water oxygen hydrogen energy and there's not any other way to get these four essential elements of life as non-living things that rejuvenate and restructure and reproduce the the way that your body go through the cycle, the cell cycle, the, the, the circulatory system, everything. So everything in your life, the apoptosis, cells that die and new cells are coming up. So your entire body, your entire body rely on its form of a perfectionism in the physical form emotional, mental, spiritual, and social by understanding that your living, you as a living organism need to understand that also your body relies on its natural fuels, which I just now I've been talking about these fuels. And these fuels, they come from one source, aqua, hot water, simply, who, no, who, nobody could, could ever imagine something simple, colorless, odorless can really be the secret key the secret key towards your entire physical, emotional, mental, spiritual, and social 
and not just that, just to move to the next higher step of the transcendency life to achieve, to reach and to, uh, to reap the benefits of being wealthy with the five factors and then move to the third, the last, which is the part of the transcendency, the five pinnacles of transcendent life. The five pinnacles come as number one is to be the emptiness. I call the emptiness means if you are suffering or stress or anxiety or specific ailment, get first rid of that by starting to understand, start to revitalize your body. Then you move to the next stage is to enjoy, to completely leave all the five aspects of health as I named earlier. And then go to the next higher being, which is the five pinnacles of uh, five uh, aspects of uh, uh, five principles of health of uh, of wealth then you move to the fourth which understanding that life is beautiful you live a life that's called heavenly life the life on heaven on heaven and when you die it's just a changing a transparent transcendent life in a different perspective so you believe life of e on earth is already a heavenly life and there's eternal heaven so from there you get your final certificate i could say or final award uh, that you really reach the pinnacle the last pinnacle of the transcendent life that you already gain all that as I preceded. So thank you so much, beautiful world. This was a live recording, but this recording was specifically, uh, though I have uh, followers, I have 42,000 followers and subscription in my YouTube channel. So some of them, they would like to put some comments and so on, or some inquiries, but this recording was specifically was specifically recorded for the purpose as I mentioned when I started my speaking. Thank you so much, beautiful world, and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.